In this video, we're going to be looking at a worded problem, differential equation, so we can kind of really see what an exam style situation would be like. A water tank is filled in such a way that the rate at which the depth of the water increases is proportional to the square root of the depth. Initially, the depth is 4 metres. After a time t hours, the depth is h metres. Write down a differential equation for h. Now, we've already looked at direct and inverse proportion in previous videos. Okay, So go and have a look at those again. And we've also looked at forming differential equations. So part A is really a test of that knowledge. So because we know we've got a differential equation for h, the h is representing the depth of this tank of water. So the rate at which the depth of the water or the depth of the tank, is changing with respect to time, we're saying is proportional to the square root of the depth. So we would write that. Okay. Now we know that if we're saying that dh by dt is proportional to root h, then dh by dt is equal to k lots of root h. So that is my first bit for part A. Okay, so that's my answer to A. Now I need to really solve that equation. So, using um, separation of variables, I can divide both sides by root h. The dh can remain where it is. I'll leave the k where it is and have k dt, and then I want to integrate both sides. Now the 1 over root h is h to the minus a half. The right hand side can integrate to kt plus c. Now h, h to the minus a half will integrate, uh, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, to 2h to the half. So there is um, my general solution. Now, it's not quite there yet, but we're getting there. Okay. Now, if I divide through by 2, and I can rewrite h to the half as root h. Now, dividing the c by 2, I can just replace it with another constant. So let's call that a. Now, I need to use one of my initial conditions. So the initial condition I've got is initially the depth is 4 metres. So when t is 0, the depth of the water is 4. So we've got the square root of 4, which is 2. Uh, when t is 0, I get 0. So a must be 2. So therefore, we have that root h is equal to 1 half kt plus 2. OK? as was required in part B. Now part C, given that h is 16 when t is 6, find the value of k. So we've been given effectively like a boundary condition because I've been told that when t is 6, so when time is 6, the depth of the water is 16. So I can substitute those into this equation to work out that value of k. So I've got the square root of 16, which is 4. I've got 1 half k times 6 plus 2. Now, if I take the 2 from both sides, half of 6 is 3. So that means that k is 2 thirds. OK, so that's what I was really asked to do. So therefore, I've got an a, uh, equation here of root h is equal to 1 half of k, which is 1 half of 2 thirds. So that's 1 third t plus 2. Now d, find the time taken to fill the tank to a depth of 36 metres. Well, if I want the depth to be 36, so um, h is 36, so we've got the square root of 36, which is 6, 1 third t plus 2. So now solving this equation, subtract the 2 from both sides then multiply both sides by the 3, so t would have to be 12, and time is given in hours, 
So that would be 12 hours. And that would answer the last part of this worded differential equation problem.